Hi, this is Jeannie. Welcome. I'm going to show you how I decorate my porch for spring. Recap. Previous video showed you how I clean the porch, remove all debris, and how I clean and polish my door. And of course, look for any repair issues that your front door may have. Next, I always place a neutral area rug and stack it with a smaller rug. Now, I'm going to show you how I set up my baskets and my pots for floral arrangements. Get a basket, place a cardboard box inside of it, and then I use a pot and place it on top of that cardboard box. Make sure you anchor the pot inside the wicker basket because you know you don't want the wind or any kind of animal to tip over your faux plant that you're gonna place inside the pot. Also, it gives it weight. Set, see, more rocks. Make sure it's stable. If you don't have rocks, you can use other items in your house. Um, you can also use bricks. You can use towels, sand, etc. Now, sturdy enough. Now I have a faux fern that I found on Amazon, which I'm gonna place inside the pot. I'm just gonna do a test run, see how it looks. And the fronds look, I think, amazing. Do a little arrangement of those fronds. Now you see it's windy. If you just leave the fern in the pot, you know the wind's gonna take it away. So. You need to think about anchoring the fern or whatever floral arrangement you use in the pot. And what I did in this case, I took styrofoam, I recycled it from some packing, and packed that in the pot. If you don't have styrofoam, you can do other things. Um, and I'll show you the second way. So what I did next, I just placed the fern down in the styrofoam by its pick and just carefully rearrange the fronds. So therefore, my fern will stay in place. I'm gonna be horrible if I wake up one morning and the fern is gone and it's flown across the, my neighbor's yard. That'll be kind of embarrassing. There you go. What do you think? I think it looks great. Now, I like to mix my things up here. I, don't, I decided to not use a wicker basket for the second potting process. So I repeated the same process. I took a pot, I placed a cardboard box, and see there's a hole at the top of that cardboard box. That's important. But what I did, I also put rocks in the pot. Because remember, I don't want my pot to get tipped over by any kind of little creature or, you know, inclement weather. So the rocks will weigh down the pot and stabilize the box. Again, if you don't have rocks, you can use other items you have in the home. stable so now I take my full fern grab it by the pick and I drop it the pick right into the hole in the box and just rearrange the fronds next I place my candle now I like to give height or to the eye here. So I actually took the bigger candelabra and placed it on a little platform to elevate it. Next, I applied my wreaths that I made previously. So check out my video on how to make a wooden be um, bead wreath. And I attached them to my door using zip tie. That's my favorite thing. The wind will definitely not carry my wreath away. So I have a double door, so I have two reefs to place. So I just repeat the same process for the second reef. Zip tie, 
There's my husband behind me giving direction because I couldn't see. <laughs> so I zip tied it to the frame of my door. Don't you think my door is beautiful? Cleans up well, huh? And there you see, I have a beautiful front door and porch for spring. Very simple, very elegant, easy to change out. And the wood, uh, wooden bead wreaths, I can always change the floors. You can use it for Christmas, you can use it for Halloween. It's kind of everlasting. Don't be afraid to mix your pots. You don't always have to use the same color pots. You can mix colors, white, gray, and black, or throw in a wicker basket. You can always change your mats out. If you have a base, which is neutral, you can change the top mat to fit the season. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and please follow me on all my social media channels.